Hello and welcome from Schusselfeld in northern Bavaria. This is the production plant of Morello and this is their showroom. Here I have to show you a very original, no, it's not very original. The design's been used before, but I, it's the first time I see it in the Morello. And the first time I saw this design was around 2012, I think it was. And uh, now one or two companies still do it. Some of the Trigano group still do it, but they don't do it this well. And so uh, let's have a look at it. Okay, so that looks very Morello-ish, as you can see. Now, it's this bit at the back, which is uh, a more unusual. First time I saw it, hey, that's really, I think it was one of Trigana, I can't remember, Challenger or something. But so, what we've got here is this double bed with this enormous television up there. It's a television on wheels. And uh, you've got, at the back there, you've got the, the, the uh, you, you close the doors at both ends, I suppose, or just one end, as you feel fit. And uh, there's the washroom out there. Central washroom. Now, the advantage of something like this is the amount of space it gives you in the washroom overall. Toilet here. So, uh, this comes off like that. And let's do it on the other side as well. This comes off very easy. Oh, that is so gentle. And uh, we'll close the door here. We'll close the door at the other side. You may think I don't want to close three doors when I'm desperate to use the toilet. In my case, you probably won't close any at all. And um, let's close this one. And there we go. This central... What do we call these things? Dressing area. This is a real dressing area in, uh, I think, this enormous shower there. Let's have a look at the size of the shower. I'll just stand here in front of it. Come on, like that. Can you see me? You can't. There you go. I'm trying to get so I mean, there we are. There, see? Let's see how big it is. See how high the roof is. Good, eh? And uh, great. So I'm quite impressed by that uh, myself. You may think, it, it depends, you know, on they're all layouts of all types for all tastes. And this is, um, this might suit everybody. I appreciate that. But anyway, that gives a more unusual. Um, I didn't point out the, uh, uh, the storage, there you go, it's a bit of a wardrobe there. There's a bit of a wardrobe in the dressing area and there's a bit of a wardrobe over there. So there's a few bits of wardrobes uh, around in the stairs. There's also a bit of space down there. This one here doesn't open up at all. Um, good, let's come out and see what we've got here. So here we've got three burners. We have got a bit of space uh, here um, for preparation. And if you don't want to use that, you've got there one sink. We've got here, there's the second sink. And here we've got the um, bit of storage there and all the way around. And doesn't it look so much better without a bed up front. Here we have oven microwave, here a uh, free, fridge freezer, that's a freezer bit, and the doors open both ways. It's one of these three-way Dometic fridges. Uh, right, there's the door. The door doesn't have a key, it's a security door. And uh, so what happens when you forget the code? Uh, same as what happens when you forget the key. At least I think with the code, you could actually ring them up and find out what the code is, which you can't really do if it's a uh, 
if you lose your key, sorry, put plug in the wrong thing there. Uh, this is for tea towels and uh, gives you an idea what the drawers look like. Yeah, I'll pull this one out here with the bins in and I'll pull this one out here. Oops, oh dear, that is quite close. That is very close. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Yeah. I've got to say, I didn't expect that, but so anyway, that one comes out, yeah. I don't think that, I mean, I do appreciate that you wouldn't possibly know one if you open the two of them together, but I did that deliberately as a test. Um, anyway, good. Uh, here, we've got the flat floor all the way to the map. This is on Ibeco Daily. And uh, I think I'll show this storage as well. Quite a lot up there. Quite a lot for this position. Unfortunately, this is this is wasted. I can't stand having wasted space anywhere. Right now, as far as the insulation is concerned, this is a big point for me in any motorhome. This is is done in such a way that there are no cold bridges. You can see it's got a huge double floor storage in the double floor uh it's um so so it's pretty efficient at keeping the warmth in uh if we come up here we can see uh the electrics which uh uh you can see you can turn your 12 volt on and off from there and uh, so it's solar panel controller uh bat what the batteries are up to and there we've got the light light switches and it's got one of them really awful coffee machines there are plenty of uh, usbs and uh also shore power plugs around quite a lot in fact and even in the back uh, back the bedroom as well you can actually get connected so you can charge your phone next to the bed the uh it comes with a uh, aircon and a extractor fan these fans are pretty efficient actually and also because it's quite it's quite uh it's relatively uh cool inside of course i mean with all these windows it's gonna it's gonna get hot but uh um i have uh, used these uh in the uh, summer with just the extractor fans on and they, they do a pretty good job and that was in 30 degrees as it is right now let's have a look around the outside all right so you've got these storage compartments uh and here you can see this one here has got this way of uh you plug your um uh, your lead into this here, which I'll open if it's open. If it's not open, now I won't open. I didn't check earlier. No, it's not open. You see, you. But if the lead, you can't get the the black lead there out. The blue one, you would be able to pull it off, but uh, you'd normally have a a full length one anyway. Huge garage here. There it comes with a reversing camera. Uh, this has a septic tank, which means to say you don't uh, have a cassette. Advantage of a septic tank is it can take a lot more. The disadvantage is you really have to be a good shot when it comes to disposing of it. So uh, there's the loft liner from uh, Morello. How much you're looking at for something like this? Well, the base price is around a quarter of a million. And, uh, well, I think the sky's the limit. I don't know what the extras are on this one. Probably looking at around 350 to 400,000. Uh, so, probably, I don't know in this case. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it interesting. And all the best from me in Germany.